Hello everyone, today I'm gonna walk you through this is emulation using Cadence software. This is a good one to do before any circuit implementation which give you a brief idea about all the circuit parameters. So first open your terminal and source your library or working directory. Type bin bash so everything is clean and working then export path equal to dollar sign path and b this is gonna check you that your linux is working and your full source files are working so just type any linux command like ls so you get all your directory and your terminal is working properly go to your working directory and source the directory for the cadence in my case it's a project file and so on so i'll do that do yourself by for you and type icfb to start up the cadence here we go once you start up the cadence go to the tools and the library manager we're gonna do new library so go file new type the name in my case tutorial and click ok after do that you need to attach a uh, existing tech file if you have otherwise create a new one so I have one so I go to that and choose the one that I have now again go select the tutorial library and create new style view we're gonna work on nmos so just type nmos and this give you edit area to create an nmos simulation so first we need to add something to work on so go to the add and type add instance type whatever you want and if you have a library to choose from it so just I choose from my library type any NFAT and use it so here this is the ideal one but we want something different then we need to change its parameters so click on that and click on the parameters or the property that give you a window to change the things you want here I'm gonna change you can change the finger width and number of fingers length and everything i'm going to put the one micrometer single finger and the number of finger i choose just random number 30 and click ok so it will get affected and your simulation is going to be based on this data so after doing that we need to bias it so we need some dc voltage source and the ground so again do the go to the add and add instance my everything is in analog library so i i'll go to the my different library analog and choose accordingly here uh, analog type vd here I got the vd and ground for the ground terminal here so from here we need to connect the this voltage source and the ground according to our biasing requirement here we can work with the reverse I mean like cutoff linear or saturation so we want to do just a regular linear or saturation analysis so I'll do biasing accordingly just put the things at the proper place ground near the source and we're gonna get the gate to some supply VD and the same as for drawing now we need to connect them all of them to bias them properly so we need to go click a wire and connect the terminal for that so first connect the gate terminal <coughs> to the first voltage source and second terminal to the ground source to the ground and body to the ground and now drain drain to the voltage source and other terminal to the ground here we go after this we need to give them proper value to give other linear or saturation region so click on the voltage source first and again go to the properties that's gonna give you another window so here we go now we can give a value to the voltage source so we're gonna type something in DC voltage point I took 0.55 volt 
then we're going to convert to so you in here and in the edit drain we're going to do the same here we want to keep the drain point variable so just type vd so we can change it at the time of simulation so just type vd and hit ok now we have to do check and save that are going to give you everything good to go so after getting this we need to do simulation so go to tools and select the analog here this will give you another window in this window we can do simulation so first go to the setup and check the library setup here we have lots of two options so choose the one with the all models and give a section name tt and click ok now we need to get the variables to do the simulations so go to the variable and do copy from cell view that gonna copy all the variables that are in cell view here we have one vd so we are good to go now we have a variable and to work with so after this we need to choose the analysis which one we want to do so analysis choose and we're going to do dc simulation so we do dc and save dc points to do for later on simulations now we're going to work with some particular points so for this we need to choose a variable so for that go to the variable select design variable and choose the one we want here we go we got the vd and in start give it time to do like 0 to 1.2 seconds and after that we need to do sweep type to the linear and give step size to a number like 50 or 100 and click ok after that you can see here he has created the software has created the one profile which called its state of working so now we can do things but before that we need to give some value to the vd that's a variable things so again go to the variables and click edit this time and choose the vd from the table on the right and give some value i took 0.3c to work in a linear region and click on a change okay here we go once we do it we are good to go so go to the simulation and choose the one first option at least and the run once you click that it will pop up the window and click ok here we go if you are done everything good then there will be no error at the bottom so just check for that and now to see the results go to the results and print choose the dc operating points that we are looking for here right now i do have nothing but click on the transistor it will pop up the all the parameters here here are all the data we need to do uh, prior analysis but these are not more convenient to do work with so we need to go to the print it will give you one more option to save the file in another format so go to the file and give the name you want so this is gonna save your this complete data in some file in your directory so you can open it and access it from some your favorite uh, editor so i saved it so here let's look at the file i gave the name results so i'm looking to look for the result file and open it for my favorite editor notepad plus plus here are all the same parameter with the values so you can find the one what you want by pressing ctrl f like vgs vgd or gm whatever you want so you can easily find the values and the parameters this is good for any designer to do some sim prior simulation and got change this design accordingly so i hope this will help you to do simulation and make your design better